What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Between Us Foos, where we talk about everything studio related, dance related, Bay Area related, and related, related, related. <laughs> yeah, cool. So uh, today I'm joined back here with your usual folks, your favorite peeps, and we're gonna be talking about um, what's it like to be on a dance team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool, so um, before we get into that, uh, don't forget to please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to get notifications of future episodes, future projects that we'll be putting out. Um, yeah, so sit back, relax, and this is Between Us Foos. Let's talk about it. Uh, before we get into it, I kind of wanted to go around and just share our own personal experiences about why or how we decided to join a dance team and start this okay. dance journey <clears throat> we've been on. So anyone? You wanna go first? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, why and? Why and like how did you go? Oh and how, yeah. okay. So I was in high school, probably senior year, and at this time I was already getting into like dance as a whole and being and dancing with people because I did talent shows with a school group called Silver Creek Project. (laughs) (laughs) And, um, you know, the next step was like, okay, when I graduate, what am I going to do? I still want to continue dancing. And at the time, there was a junior group called A Youngin. (laughs) <laughs> and this was like back in the days and so i was like okay i want to audition i think i would actually no this wasn't after high school this was during so i auditioned um just because i was really wanted to train i really wanted to train i wanted to perform i wanted to take it seriously and i ended up making it but my parents didn't allow me to mm. be in a dance team so i had to wait until um I had a little bit more resources to join a dance team <laughs> it's really funny um so <laughs> I joined um, Chocolate Factory my senior year, um, 2011, and at the time my parents didn't know. Like I hid Hmm. it. I was like secretly, like going to practices and stuff. I don't know how I did, but anyways, (laughs) I did that. And why? Um, Again, I I was just like really in the thick of like wanting to train and perform and um, be a better dancer. I felt like my idols at the time all were in a dance team, so it kind of just made sense, like, okay, join a dance team, because that's where you're gonna grow. Um, Plus, my friends were suggesting to to join it, because their experience was a good one, and I was like, of course, I trust you guys. I joined the team where I had a lot of friends in it. So, yeah, that was was my how and kind of why. Nice. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Everyone looks like Kevin. (laughs) Okay, I guess I'm next. Um, So, um, I felt like a lot of my journey was running alongside Donita's, um, pretty much, because we danced together for like the longest time. Um, But my recount of it was, um, you know, in high school, me and Carly, who's one of the other owners, we're the only like dancers, I guess. I mean, there were other dancers too, but like we were the only ones in contact with each other. after high school and stuff and so I felt like we didn't really have any other outlets so what had happened was I kept coming back to the high school and like a lot of the younger generation was actually making the team um, SCP or Silver Creek Project Um, and so we were like okay let's do that like because why not we want to dance it's a little weird because we already graduated (laughs) but whatever (laughs) we're gonna do it because it's our only outlet and so we did it um, just to honestly have fun I guess to keep dancing um, we just want, didn't want to stop dancing um, and then I think after Tad Rocca who's one of our mentors here um, he I guess decided like okay we're all gonna like separate out and do our own thing like the everyone who was on SCP at the time um, and so that's when I found interestingly like literally the next day um, that Gino had invited me to join Chocolate Factory or it didn't have a name at the time it was like the audition was um, like it's like dance team auditions, <laughs> go. <laughs> it's like Call okay, it is. sure, <laughs> let's do it. And so me and Carly, we decided to go together. It was scary because honestly, we had no idea really what to expect. We only had like kind of outside knowledge about what it was like to be on a dance team. So we did that. Um, and I think through being on the dance team is when I understood what a dance community was and what dance and passion is for dance like that's where I really understood it because you kind of build off 
of each other and off of your teammates. Um, and so over, I think, the four years that we were doing that together, we took a couple of years of, of break after that um, just to kind of handle, finish up college, you know, finish up our education. Um, and then after that, I came back um, when Gino had asked me to become the director of it. I was like, oh, crap. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't even been, like, I've been dancing, but I haven't been, like, on the team for, like, two years. And so it was a scary thing because I, I came back into it not knowing, like, anyone and mm -hmm. stuff, right? Like, um, I, but I, in that position, I, like, I felt like I challenged myself to prove that I'm in this position and I earned it and here's why, right? And so I really, really pushed myself. And then eventually when Gino retired and, and CF was like, I guess, just my team. It, that's when a whole new journey started <laughs> up. So I, now I've been directing for four years. It's my last year, my senior year. <laughs> so it's all full circle, right? Um, but it's I'm my goal now really with the team is just to, um, you know, I basically go out with a bang for me, um, but for them is to make sure that they're set up for success in the future. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for me. So I started my dance career, I would say, in high school. I started through Battle of the Tribes. Yes. You know? Um, I know, that. yeah, my first year, the choreographers that we had were like Brian Subijano, um, TJ Subiano. and Daya. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> TJ, TJ and Daya. Um, and Randy Van Lee. And like back in the day, he was <laughs> one of the, he was that guy that like was starting up, you know, crews yeah. back in the day. And so after a high school, yeah, mm -hmm. A. Youngin was one of them. And so um, after high school, I didn't think that... I was going to join a dance team because I know like a lot of my high school classmates had joined, but like I never had the confidence to. I remember one time, I think A. Youngin had, um, what is it, um, auditions, and I remember driving to it, and like halfway there, I was like, nah, I can't, I can't Jeez. do this. Like, oh, yeah, no. I can't do this. So then um, when I got into college, um, I actually joined a fraternity, and they kind of had the similar thing of like, um, this thing called like sectionals where you'd go to different colleges and you'd have you'd perform a mm. set or whatever and like I got back into dancing through that and so Kevin Nguyen um head of marketing um <laughs> he started dancing because of that because like I we would hold like little um dance workshops together and he started his dance career through that and so like between the two of us so I remember there was a hip-hop class on SJSU and Randy actually happened to be like an assisting um choreographer there and he started up bums I think around that time so mm. me and Kevin between us we were just like you know what let's push ourselves and try to audition right and so we ended up both going to the audition so at that time like um we both carpooled right the two of us to the audition and like at the very end like because you know they do numbers right like if you're in they'll call your number and we made it to the very end and they're like okay well for those of you guys whose numbers haven't been called like you guys didn't make it but these like five or six people I want you guys to come back for like a second round. So me and Kevin were a part of that. So when we came back, it was like during one of their practice times and we had to perform the exact same piece in front of the whole team, right? So we ended up doing that and we were outside, right? And Randy's like, okay, let me go talk to you guys. And like, he's talking to each one of us saying like, okay, well, this is what happened. This is maybe next time you guys are going to be able to like, you know, um, work on this and come back and audition, right? And so like Kevin didn't, doesn't make it. I'm the next one, he's like, Kim, 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 Kim. And he like goes off like on the list of like, oh, this is not what you did right, right? And then at the very end, he's like, but this, I saw a little spark, so you can come on inside, right? <laughs> and so <laughs> I was like flabbergasted because this is the first time I'm like joining a team, right? Oh, and not only really? that, that was the first time? yeah, that was the first time I ever joined a team. And second, I was like, well, I went here with Kevin and oh. Kevin's like my ride and like you know Kevin, Kevin didn't make it and I made it I'm like okay well they're gonna continue practice right so I'm so just he made like, you walk home <laughs> <laughs> no Kevin's like you know he's sad too and he's just like Kim um go ahead and like do it and then I'll come pick you up and so Aww. but he ended up joining Chocolate Factory mm -hmm. and he made it so like we were both on different teams so um for a quick second I was on bums you know um I had curfew at the time and you know with some practices they go on late and so like I, I couldn't I couldn't hold on to it. So then after that I took a couple of years um break from the whole competition life and then I came back when Gino had his whole like training team overtime which morphed into chocolate fra factory <laughs> round two, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and stayed a couple of seasons and then, you know, 
life got ahead of me and I had to focus on my career. So currently in pause when it comes to dance teams, mm-hmm. but I would love to revisit that when For the time sure. comes. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. Last but not least. <laughs> Pretty similar, honestly. Uh, we all, I high school, right? And then uh, I feel like we touched upon it in past episodes, but uh, just did it because friends did it. It was mm-hmm. fun, fell in love, and then kind of got nudged to join a team. Uh, all my friends I was dancing with in high school were on a youngin actually. Mm-hmm. So they kind of nudged me once I started dancing. Uh, they kind of like saw the potential and then they nudged me to like come join too. And then that's what happened. And then, uh, I mean, long story short, just kept doing it from there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. cool. So, yeah, I think we want to kind of, I wanted to kind of give like people who aren't on teams or those who don't have never had the experience of like what it is to like be a part of a team, a dancer who's dancing on a team, what it's like, you know? Mm-hmm. Cause a lot of our, a lot of um, the people we see around here are mainly here obviously just for class, right? Mm-hmm. Not just for class, but like for class. Um, and um, that's where they get most of their exposure to dance, mm. their training or whatever. And so I kind of want to like ask you guys what you guys, how you guys feel, what is like, the the pros and cons, if you will, of like being just, or being a dancer who only takes class and being a dancer who is on a team. What do you guys think? Got at it. least from your experiences. Or- I think for me, the big thing is the time commitment, mm-hmm. right? So there, there, it's a double side or a double edged sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, where it's like, yeah, you're investing a lot of time into you know building yourself up as a dancer Mm -hmm. too but it's time that you could Mm -hmm. take to like you know do other things I guess in your life and stuff so it it, it's a it's a commitment it's definitely a commitment that you need to mentally be prepared for um and then sometimes and it's definitely possible if you're able to manage your time well to do everything right to be on the team and still get your full-time job and a full-time student you know it's possible it's possible you know people are it's scary (laughs) it's scary and it's hard it's definitely hard but um it's definitely possible and i think um but I, I just like the motivation of just being around people that mm. are, have that same basic mission for you. Mm. And it's, a, it's just a motivator for you to like, I'm getting better, not just for myself anymore, um, for 20 to 40 other people, <laughs> depending right. on your team. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's definitely one of them. Um, hmm. I'm trying to frame it in a way where like, it with just taking class, you get this, and with being a dancer, you get this kind of mm-hmm. like, the uniqueness um, Mm -hmm. out of each experience because some of the things you can get in both you know so um, and we could talk about that too Um, but first thing Mm -hmm. that comes to mind probably other than time commitment is probably connections Mm -hmm. like in both cases you will meet people you will join a community Um, so that's definitely a pro in both cases Uh, you you gain a network you know like a lot of dancers have other talents so like you know what someone in your team is like oh yeah i'm really good at editing videos or like i'm really good at um editing music you know or um all that stuff you know so it's like a connection and same thing it's um (coughs) with taking classes especially if you do it so often you all you you start to build that community and that connection so it's there's that social aspect um for both i would say right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe one's just more with how routine it is, mm-hmm. like you're gonna obviously get the same. Mm-hmm. Same. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I was gonna say. Uh, what were you gonna say? Like uh, with class, like not. It's not a. Uh, I mean, you have your regulars, right? Yeah. But then not everyone's gonna be there all mm-hmm. the time, right? Mm-hmm. As opposed to dance team, it is more of a commitment, right? Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. with you're gonna see the same people more often. You're gonna build. Deeper That's connections, true. almost. Mm-hmm. Right? You do build like this brotherhood right, <laughs> when yeah, you join exactly. a dance team because you're you're in it for the same thing, yeah. same goal. And mm-hmm. I think it goes beyond just dancing for yourself too, because mm-hmm. you're for sure. doing it for the sake of the team, for exactly. each other, yeah. right? There's a camaraderie that mm-hmm. that happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I see. Know? Like another thing to think about is as well as like when you're. In your classes, you kind of get to pick and choose who you're learning from, Mm -hmm. right? Um, Whereas when you're on the team, you have a specific time where you're going to these practices 
but there's going to be different aspects that you're going to be working on, right? Maybe it's like freestyling or like um, learning a different piece or like um, learning how to execute, things like that. Whereas when you're in class, like you only have that It's in hour. your control. It's kind of yeah. like um, someone else is making this path for you, mm -hmm. for you to kind of grow. And then with classes, they're definitely like <coughs> independent schooling you know what I mean yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> type mm -hmm. of thing yeah that, that yeah, makes sense because yeah. you got to pick like what you want to what classes you want to go into and what you want to focus on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those are the difference too yeah yeah which kind of kind of brings us to our next thing I kind of want to talk about like digging deeper into like what it's like to be on a team like what are some things that you guys did on the teams that you guys <laughs> were on I know it's different for everyone every team has different things they want to focus mm -hmm. on right mm -hmm. so, what did we do <laughs> like, uh, in terms of like because class is class. You go to class, yeah. you learn a piece, you do groups, you take whatever you take away from it. But I assume that there's more specific things that uh, directors would want their d dancers to work on mm -hmm. and stuff. So what were some like things that you got from being on a team that yeah. you didn't get from class, I guess? Yeah, so to be on a team, like especially through my experience with directing, like it really is to establish a direction for everyone. And it's kind of hard sometimes because everyone has their own dance journey, but we all have to kind of hop on board with this same idea that we're pushing forward in X, Y, Z, right? Um, so I know that for one summer, I definitely wanted, and it was like one of the first seasons I ever was directing. Um, I wanted to have my team have a at least an exposure or a foundation in foundation. So like for our, I guess our street styles, if you want to call it that. So I had like a house person come in. I had like a popper come in. I had um, like a locker come in and just really just teach us like two hours, two hours of just like, like deep, 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 like understanding that type of movement just mm -hmm. to have building blocks pretty much for us to grow. Um, so that was one, one thing that I um, definitely did in my first years. Um, I think it's interesting though, cause like that's one of those things that are not as like instantly satisfying, I guess, for some people. Right. But I think ultimately mm. the team really appreciated it and it was something that everyone can jump on, jump on, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And teams, practices go for how long usually? Um, I think it depends team to team. Um, and I know competition season definitely changes yeah. that up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but from what I know, I mean, at least in this area, teams practice two to three hours, two to three times a week. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think generally that's kind of where it is mm -hmm. right now. So mm -hmm. you're going to get more time to like develop and really like hone in. And like you said, it's not an instant thing. It's going to be more of a longer process, but with the commitment, like you get more out of it at the end. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Definitely. Something that I think you, an opportunity you definitely don't get with just taking classes, developing your choreography mm -hmm. or choreo, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> choreoing, <laughs> um, because that's kind of, I mean, it depends on the team, what, it, what, how much they focus on that area with their members. But when I was on the team, um, that was a big thing. Like we were always tasked with a choreo homework mm -hmm. and like even like doing it in groups blocking it together and all that stuff so i think being able to stretch your creative mind mm -hmm. that way versus when you take class you definitely don't have that opportunity yeah. unless you know the teacher is like okay this part's a freestyle part this is for this four eight counts mm -hmm. you know you can do whatever you want which mm -hmm. is a way of doing the same thing mm -hmm. but i think with a dance team that's definitely um something you like focus on the curriculum is more yeah. expanded, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so is there any kind of like training stuff that you guys have learned <laughs> as, you know, like, you know? Training stuff, <laughs> training stuff. <laughs> uh, training, I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, what I do, mean, okay, what do I mean by that? Like, yeah. like fundam I guess you're fundamentals foundations yeah. technique right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah I feel like mm -hmm. you don't sometimes choreographers touch upon it in class mm -hmm. like as a part of their warm-up maybe mm -hmm. but um, would you say that that stuff is more um, like you get it from somewhere else or in a dance team because mm -hmm. I was thinking that I definitely learned how to glide in a dance team <laughs> not yeah. in a dance right. class mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah you know oh yeah 
the glide like how to glide <laughs> <laughs> even um you know like dime stops how to like practicing that or um toe control all of this mm-hmm. these things I, mm-hmm. I i i acquired while training in a dance team mm-hmm. versus in class yeah yeah like drills and across the floors are such a big oh, yeah. part Crucial. of like being on a team and stuff it's, i mean i even had to kind of realize that maybe halfway through my directorship i was like oh we should probably do this more often Mm -hmm. um but yeah like i think that allows you to practice a lot of the things that a choreographer was just gonna um at a class is just gonna like brush on Mm -hmm. like there's like oh do a wave it's like okay Mm -hmm. and then here's how you generally do it it's like right okay now i know how to do it no it's like you have to practice it and Mm so yeah our arms get super tired our legs get super tired our calves go crazy um but dance is a physical activity and so mm-hmm. like even something like conditioning like doing oh, yeah. our, working on our core working <laughs> oh, on our yeah. legs that's something that like a lot of people don't realize too mm-hmm. and you get um, snippets yeah. of that in some classes where the, mm-hmm. the warm-up is like legit like a workout yeah, yeah. and it's cool i'm like I'm, I'm here for it but um it's mm-hmm. different from when you have to do it two to three times a week mm-hmm. versus right. like this one class you yeah. know what i'm saying right. it gets drilled in your body more mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and it be, yeah Which i love like mm-hmm. you know I, I like I like being in that training mode because again it's just being with people who have that same goal. It helps you train better, and so um, you learn from each other too a little bit, too, for sure, or a lot, a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you learn from each other. You kind of just say like, "Hey, how's my technique?" And it's like, "Oh, I need to do this." It's like, and then you watch each other, and so mm-hmm. it's it's t- building team chemistry, but it's also building your your dance vocabulary, building your dance skills. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's some of my favorite times. Um, throughout the comp- even the competition season is just mm-hmm. those bits of training that you get throughout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's competition season like? <laughs> um, it's kind of pretty nuts, nuts it? but it can get fun. Mm-hmm. I like I'm the type of person that likes to be in like a high pressure environment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I mean all the time. I can get overwhelmed, but um, I just I think at the beginning it was hard it was hard to get mm-hmm. used to but once you do it like over and over again i loved like game day mm-hmm. i loved competition day there's just something about like um showing up with like your team your squad yeah your yeah. squad and like you're just there like mentally focused and um you kind of have like a prep routine the date the night before mm-hmm. which i had you know <laughs> mm-hmm. um and kind of like even like your your diet for that whole week it's just it's it's also a sport like i think that's why i like dance competition you know my cousins always had like basketball tournaments and like uh track tournaments and i'm like this is like this is my tournament you know Mm -hmm. like it's still a sport (laughs) Mm -hmm. um mentally and physically Mm -hmm. so it can get fun it can get hectic depending Mm -hmm. on like what the um prep week schedule is and like especially if you're in school Mm -hmm. um and work you know prep week schedule can get pretty late and taxing to your Mm -hmm. body and your mind if you have like homework (laughs) um to do still so it can get really um hard but i think that's that's what makes it worth it when it's over it's because it's like man that was a crazy two weeks just now like i feel so good after this comp you know or the season you know what i mean so i definitely it it, it, for me i'm the type of person to be in like in those to like being in those situations Mm -hmm. to kind of be in grind mode for sure Mm -hmm. oh yeah isn't like a season like okay so you train for a couple months and then you slowly transition into set set, building building, i'd call it building yeah right Mm -hmm. and then you they teach you these pieces and then you practice it and then you have casting mm-hmm. and then once you once you figure out your placements like if you're an accent or your main then you just practice those and you just do it over and, and over you and everything over else. again <laughs> <laughs> that's true so it becomes muscle memory Only know what i need to know right? yeah, true. things like that so and then you block yeah, yeah. Oh, i yeah. personally cool. really enjoy the blocking process mm-hmm. yeah. it's like i do and i don't like right. i get frustrated with myself when i'm blocking and stuff i'm just Ooh. like oh. you know I have like a question. so what is blocking though right. okay yeah what is blocking for those of you yes. that don't oh. know so we should go over those oh, what's, what's a good way to describe it like i guess you block off specific groups and people to do specific things to create right. a bigger picture mm-hmm. than just one person mm-hmm. so. right you i would say you ch- it changes the choreo yeah. Or, yeah, you change the choreo, you change the movement. 
each dancer is given a more specific thing to do mm -hmm. in order to make the picture more effective, I'd say. So yeah. it's like, again, it's less about the individual and it's more about the whole, right? Mm -hmm. The group. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My other question was, which stage do you guys like the most? Like, set building, casting, blocking, cleaning? Oh, the stage of the development. Prep week, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you which stage I hate the most. <laughs> okay, sorry, let's do both because I, I wanna know. Cleaning. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, personally, I personally like cleaning. Yeah. yeah, I think blocking, cleaning is my two favorite, like that area of nice. time. Mm -hmm. Only because when you clean, I don't know, I just like this like thing where like, it just starts to sparkle. You know what I mean? Like oh, okay. the, the I, yeah, I feel you, you keep like especially when um you just drill something. Again, I really like being in a high stress <laughs> situation. So mm -hmm. when, when the choreographers are like drilling you hours and hours on the same eight count, like I don't know why I like it. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm getting this down, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's my favorite part. <laughs> nice. What about you guys? I feel like, okay, so it's kind of in that same phase, the cleaning phase, but mm. there's at one point you focus on performance, Ooh. right? Like that facial, mm. that truly putting your motion into whatever movement and giving your movement a purpose. And then in that time frame, there's always this one run and it's never even like the day before. It's, it's like, like two, three days two, before. Two, three days, maybe even a week before where it's like that felt great like yeah. with your team and you just feel it you look around <laughs> mm. i remember the first time that it happened on chocolate factory we were just looking around like what did we just experience <laughs> like, it was crazy so that's my favorite part is like working on the performance even though like it puts my face in like in weird positions sometimes mm -hmm. i like that experimentation a little bit. yeah um it mm. helps i feel like when something happens on my face it manifests on my body so much more I so feel you. yeah i like i like mm. working on the performance aspect of it Nice. Kim? I would say casting. Mm. Mm. Like, I feel like having that competitive edge, because I know yeah. you know where they cast you in <laughs> yeah. parts, and like, for a dance, and you like look at it, and you're just like, nah. I want to be better, or yeah. I want I want a better spot. You know, and you have that day, and then you yeah. have that day Kim's of scary. like, <laughs> you know, and you have changed, and you, and you have that day of just like, um, okay, for whoever wants to like challenge someone. Oof. Challenge. I don't know if every, I don't challenge know if every days. team has this, but mm -hmm. yeah, I've, I've experienced so, those. Yeah, yeah. I would have to agree with you. I you like about, casting? I like casting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this one time mm -hmm. I'm not going to mention names, but. We did this in company where you would, you would cast, and then mm -hmm. if you want, you can battle for a spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you didn't agree with it, and so, um, mm, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that. yeah. <laughs> it's also this other thing where it's like, okay, um, maybe you don't notice someone has been working efficiently oh. hard, you know, and then oh, like yeah. when challenge day comes, you know. You see someone just blossom, yes. and you're just like, "Where did that yeah. come yep. from?" I've seen that, right? So, like, that, like, those are my favorite parts <laughs> usually during challenges, right. where I was just like, "Oh, they brought, they brought it." Mm -hmm. And it's so. inspiring. It's inspiring mm -hmm. and motivating to see your peers like push, push, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like it pushes you because you're so focused on yourself sometimes. Yeah, yeah. right, I exactly. Agree. And I feel like like you can get that in class for sure, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's just so much more intensified yeah. in yeah. a dance team, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's not to say that like, oh, you should join a dance team, like <laughs> this is the viewers watching, but it's just more so just opening the door a little bit. Like, to, what's it like? What's it like, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, if you're interested or not, so. What are you guys' least favorite? Least favorite part? Just curious, like real Okay, quick. here's an interesting thing. <laughs> um, so my least favorite part about the competition is like, um, the results, weirdly. I don't know how to describe it. Like. Getting the, how do I, like the placements. Topic. Yeah, it's a big, it's a pretty big topic because I think, um, well, especially if coming from a director's perspective, it's like, I don't know, I have this love-hate relationship with it where it's like, yes, I feel great and accomplished, but then on the opposite side, when you don't place, you do, you feel like you failed. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, but it's like, mm -hmm. did you really? And I have to keep consistently telling myself that. And then when I get like the scorecards and stuff and then immediately have to think, okay, now I have to like, bring the team back up because they might be like, you know, it's like, it's it's the thing that I don't want a number to determine our success, you mm -hmm, know, right. like, and that's something that I, myself is still learning and stuff that like, I don't need anyone else's like approval to say mm -hmm. that I 
I did good and stuff, but it's it's hard, right? Like it's hard to sit like to think that way. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's just the nature of competition. Competition, right? It's subjective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, how do you judge dance? I know. You yeah. know, when there's so many different styles, so many different teams doing different things, and the judges change all the time too. And every judge oh, yeah. is gonna like their own thing. So mm-hmm. yeah, you just gotta. I agree. Yeah. No. Know you did your best, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Um. Would you guys say that you being on a team? Like I know we all have we we're, we have a lot of friends who dance, obviously. And yeah. I feel like that's why we're doing it in the first place. But would you say that um, you're more friends with? people you are on the team with than people mm-hmm. outside does that make sense yeah mm-hmm. um, kind of the social aspect mm-hmm. of this whole thing it's interesting because um i don't want to say more i think i'm just with them more mm-hmm. if that right. makes sense like um it's how do i describe it like it's kind of easy and convenient because yeah. um you see each you, other you so see often. each other and it's like mm-hmm. okay let's go get something to eat right, right after and so you automatically are spending so much time with these people yeah. um and so th- ultimately they're gonna be your friends right, right. like um but to, like and sometimes though like i just have to kind of tell myself or remember that i have a life outside of uh-huh. dance too <laughs> and I've, I've fallen victim to that like where um I don't see my friends that are outside of dance like as often mm-hmm. and stuff. But, you know, I think it's just a balance that you have to have. Yeah. Am I more friends with, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I think it depends on like, you know, like what the, I, guess, I don't know. There's a lot of factors, like right. what the topic right, is, right, maybe right. You're the setting, I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's like, true, the setting. Yeah, but when it comes to like in making a list for like your birthday party, it's like, do you, like, <laughs> do you invite the whole team or right. like, like yeah. just yeah. half? Like, I mean, uh, like you're gonna so, know about it if you did. Yeah. It's like I have a party bus that can fit fifteen people. Uh, party <laughs> bus. Well, just kidding. Yeah, it's yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it depends. It depends. Aspects, depends. Right? It, depends. Yeah. it really does depend. But that's a good point to to think about, actually. <laughs> oh, I made a lot of friends though through dance, though. Yeah, like, that, definitely. And then they have become. Friend, my outside of dance friends, right? Too, also. Mm-hmm. and that's what's great about being in a dance team is like mm-hmm. you kind of meet your lifelong Just, friends. Yeah, mm-hmm. networking yeah. overall through shared pain and yes. struggle and, and passion. And passion. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and, and the sweat. <laughs> yep, exactly. Cool. So, I mean, is there anything else you guys would like to share uh, regarding dance teams versus class? Versus class. In general, versus class. in general. Um, I think that being in a dance team definitely changed my life. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. I can only imagine, I can't imagine how my life would be without being in a dance team. I think um, I learned so many things being in a dance team that I don't learn in other settings, you know, Mm -hmm. being my workplace or whatever. And that's, that's, that really is meaningful for me. And yeah, like just being again in that high pressure situation definitely has given me a lot of hope in times of struggle outside of dance mm-hmm. and and it's it's like a form of meditation sometimes when you're just focusing on you know building your set getting this thing again you're it's more it's bigger than yourself sometimes right. so it's like you're here for other people and um I, overall it's been a great experience like being in a dance team and it's i can only i can't imagine how my life would be without it mm-hmm. if I, if if i never had joined <laughs> for sure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, go first. I was just breathing. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I was just going to say, like, if you have the time and the commitment, I feel like if the opportunity arises and there's dance auditions on the way, I feel like you might as well just try, try it. it. You know, even the whole audition process of like mm-hmm. getting on a team is 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 a is a process too, too. Um, and I feel like as you take classes from studios and all that, like it can only help you, help further your, um, or prepare you for that. And if you don't even want to further your like growth process in your dance journey, I feel like um, being a part of the team is very helpful in, the, in that way, in that sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like for me, I think 
dance has given me the opportunity to meet a lot of different type of people, mm -hmm. types mm -hmm. of people, and like like to hear their journeys and understand them, I think it allowed me to understand a lot of, of different types of people um, and understand how to, I guess, I don't wanna say communicate, not that they're like aliens <laughs> or anything, but like, you know, like to like, to acknowledge them and to be able to, you know, socialize with them and have um, really deep mm -hmm. and meaningful conversations with people. Um, I think it's really interesting to see how and why people dance and why they're here. Um, mm -hmm. And then to be able to, try to have them all come together and to see their that i don't say transition but that other side of them really mm -hmm. come out and just be a team player and a team member mm -hmm. it's so invigorating for me to see and experience that it only drives my drive faster yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> so i i mean i like i would i would never take back the experience of joining a dance team i think it's taught me so much about being a leader about myself about people and just understanding the world almost interestingly. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, that said, I actually have to head out really <laughs> early. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, <laughs> so I mean, like, Kevin has practice. Right I know. Now. I got practice. So you know, see, <laughs> mm -hmm. still like, in it. Still in still it. In so it. Um, I'll see you guys later next time um, on our Halloween episode. <laughs> so um, yeah, stay tuned, guys, and uh, we're gonna finish up. Okay, later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, yeah, just bouncing off of Final what, words? Yeah, um, I 100% agree with everything you guys have to say. I feel like mm -hmm. our upbringing was kind of very much very similar. And so, um, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> I don't wanna just reiterate. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you guys pretty much said everything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you wanna join a dance team, go for it. You're only gonna grow, right? Yeah, yeah. And if you don't make it, then, I mean. That's an opportunity to grow. That's another opportunity mm -hmm. to grow as well, right? Um, yeah, only I can, I mean, yes, it's a commitment and it's almost like living another life, mm -hmm. I want to say, because, it, um, it's a lot of time you're sacrificing mm -hmm. to, um, partake in something that's not just for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's for yourself, but it's also, it's a bigger, there's a bigger picture mm -hmm. at play. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like, um, but if you have the, the drive to do so, go for it. And if not, then that's cool too, you know? Like, it's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's all just about finding what works for you. And But how do you know unless you try, mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. right? So, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Um, with that said, that pretty much wraps everything up. If you haven't already, leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts on what being on a team is like for you, or if you is there if there's any other things that we might have missed uh, that you're still wondering about, um, and future topics, yeah, let us know what you guys would like to see in the future regarding these uh, podcast episodes. And with that said, is that it? <laughs> that's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you guys. See you guys next time.